Kerala Governor Arif Mohammad Khan has written to Chief Minister Pinrai Vijayan demanding the dismissal of Finance Minister K. N. Balagopal over recent remarks at a university which he claimed were seditious. In this letter to the Chief Minister, the Governor alleged that Mr. Balagopal delivered a speech at a campus in Tiruvannandapuram last Wednesday seeking to stoke fire of regionalism and provincialism undermining the unity of India. There's of course... Um, uh, the, uh, it's been a tussle between the governor and the Kerala uh, state government with respect to the appointment of vice chancellors. Governor has served show, show, show cause notice to four, uh, sorry, to eight vice chancellors asking for them to step down, to resign, uh, alleging irregularities in the way they have been appointed. Pinrai Vijayan backing them has the Chief Minister of Kerala backing them has repeatedly said, has asked the governor uh, to maintain the, the constitutional standards uh, with, between, with interactions with the state government. We'll also try and get you reactions on this, but this has been something which has been going on. Let's just take you through the letter of what Kerala governor has written to Chief Minister, uh, alleging um, uh, uh, Finance Minister K. N. Balagopal uh, has ceased to enjoy my pleasure. That's what the governor has said. Comments by Finance Minister Balagopal are disturbing. Seeks to stoke fire of regionalism and provincialism. Uh, if left unchecked, will influence our national unity and integrity. Comments of Finance Minister challenges constitutional convention. Constitutional convention states governor of each state is from outside. If I do not take cognizance of seditious remarks of K. N. Balagopal, it will be of a great omission. Letter takes objection to Finance Minister's comments against the Governor. The letter has certain specific comments mentioned by, um, by uh, K. N. Gopal, uh, Bala Gopal. Also, a reference to him being from uh, Uttar Pradesh, from him also, uh, also being uh, linked uh, to a state where there were these uh, crackdown on students and where vice chancellors apparently uh, roam around with uh, security guards in a comment made by K. N. Balagopal. Joining us right now to take this. Okay, we, let's let's listen to a remark, a reaction which has come in from D. Raja. What is the need for having governors in a parliamentary democracy as we have today? when there are elected state governments. So the position of governor has to be questioned. The Kerala governor has gone beyond all limits. He is functioning as uh, some kind of uh, cadre of uh, BJP RSS combined.